Zero Mile is a Terminus Media production. If you would like to know more about Terminus Media, please head on over to TerminusMedia.com. Now, on with your show. Hi, welcome to Zero Mile, your final stop in Atlanta's geek culture. I'm your host, Kelly McDaniel, and these are my co-hosts. Zonga Philly. Matthew Malice. I'm in for uh, Chris Cohen this week. And we have a lot going on in terms of news for video games, so we're just going to kind of jump right in. And let's go ahead and see what is going on on your video game news. Well, Matt? Uh, something I've been very intrigued by and I think our audience will be very excited for is uh, Steven Universe is getting yet another Ooh. video game. Yay. It's a sequel to the mobile game called uh, Attack the Light. This one is called Save the Light and it will be written by Rebecca Sugar of actual Steven Universe fame. Um, oh, it looks really, to be really intriguing to me because not only is it written by the right people, um, but it's going to be designed in a very particular way. It's action RPG ish with real time strategy, but it's also going to have turn based strategy based on who you put in your party. So, depending on the gym or the character you add, that will change up the dynamic of get, re- achieving victory. Um, nice. I love the show, and I, and I love that more video games and more content is being made for it. That's pretty yeah. awesome. Yep. Yeah, that's a pretty good show. Yeah. Like, I've watched it a lot. No. I've seen <laughs> just a bit. Just about every episode. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I think I'm all cut up. I may be a little behind, but they have a weird release schedule for that show. So yeah, it's yeah, Cartoon Network, so. yeah, it is Cartoon Network. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> they, when anytime it's good, it's got a really weird production schedule. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, and what about you? Well, of course, this news is, I guess, a little bit of sna- sad news, depending on how you want to look at it. But it has to deal with, of course, Naughty one of Naughty Dog's uh, co-presidents is stepping down, mm-hmm. Chris. Christoph, this, let me get pronounce this right. Christoph Balestra, he announced his departure up from the company, uh, citing that he wanted to f- fulfill both personal ambitions and projects mm-hmm. on his own. He said that he will be leaving the company April third, and I guess that gives Naughty Dog a bit to I guess find maybe another co president or focus on the having a one president and. I'm sure he's going to, well, Christoph is going to go and produce some really great projects. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, I don't, I don't fault him for such, doing such a thing. I mean, d- video game development is super, super, super stressful. And I mm-hmm. guess at a certain point when you've achieved enough success, you're just like, I don't need that in my life anymore. And I'm going to go off and do my own thing. Of course. Okay. Yeah. Like spend more time with family, you know, like you said, work on some personal projects. Who knows? Maybe you want to make music or something, and he couldn't because video it's games. Very true. Um, <laughs> and just just so that way we also have an idea, because sometimes people don't really place the production company with the video game. What is the most famous video game that Naughty Dog has come out? There's Uncharted. Uncharted. Um, of course, Naughty Dog, Crash Bandicoot, and there are many more. To- okay. Engine. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. It's a notable company. It's a no- yeah, it's very notable. All right. And then I have some Blizzard news in terms of Overwatch. We are getting our 24th uh, Overwatch hero, which is Oriza? Oh, Orisa. Orisa. Sorry. Orisa, um, which is a robot engineered by 11 year old Effie. Odele. Odele. <laughs> I cannot pronounce these to save my life. Odele. Hola, Dele. There we go. Yay! I can't (laughs) pronounce anything to save my life. (laughs) Woo! Um, But Blizzard's been teasing her for a while, um, especially with Oriza using Effie um, and showing how she makes her robots Mm -hmm. um, for a while. So this is really exciting. They finally put her on the PC-only PTR, which is basically the... It's a public test realm. Beta beta area, um, essentially, to... um, kind of show her off what's really interesting is that she's not getting she's getting a longer period of time in the public test realm than compared to sombra and anna who then of course once they came out kind of had not glitches per se but like they're scaling back their their damages and updates and stuff like that because they did they really didn't spend that much time it's it's a balancing issue um, yeah i mean with with overwatch it's a 60 dollar game you get everything that's what they promised that no matter when you bought the game you always get the new heroes that come out and and it's also got a competitive scene so balancing between them is extremely important mm-hmm. and i think they've learned from the previous two launches that they need 
they need to be cooked a little bit more in the yeah. live test server so they can go, okay, when we release it live to the public, there's not this huge outcry. Exactly. There's not a huge problem with it, and people will sort of it'll nicely well, go into the, to the yeah. meta. No, and, and that's I'm really excited that she is staying longer mm -hmm. in the PTR um, to come out. They're hoping by the end of this month, beginning of April, um, but they're really trying to plan on end of March. Uh, but never gave an exact date, so mm. it's blizzard. It's blizzard. <laughs> it is Blizzard. Of <laughs> but I just because like in researching this and in the PTR and like her staying late, like they already have a giant backlash with Anna because they scaled her damage back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which, of course, you don't want a character to come immediately out of the PTR and, and then the, immediately overpower everybody. But because, to scale somebody back after giving her that yeah, power is kind of upsetting. Because, yeah, the, yeah, the moment that things are released, it, it sort of, t that's the, the standard of the character. Exactly. And mm -hmm. the moment things you start, you're like, oh, I really like this character. And then they're like, but you're tweaking it. Why are you tweaking it? I really love the character. Yeah. Because players don't think of game balance. That's not what they're there no, for. They're they there to have just, fun. Exactly. Yeah. And so that's that's been my main problem with Overwatch lately has just been the fact that they don't... They're putting things out really early. Mm -hmm. um, so to me, sometimes it feels rushed. And it's like, it might not be rushed in the sense of the character being rushed or the design being rushed. But rushing a character out when out of the PTR when it's not ready mm -hmm. is what's been causing those issues. So I'm glad that they've they're trying to like fix themselves. A little bit, and hopefully they won't lose gameplay because of what they do in the newer updates, which is going to scale back some characters. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That and you also have to think about, you know, tournament play teams, how well each individual character meshes with every other character in exactly. a team-based yeah. shooting game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of, oh, Orisa does actually have a really cool um, power called Halt, which is like a gravitation surge. She can fire every seven seconds. It's a projectile gravity ball that pulls nearby enemies and slows them down. Exactly. So I really think that would be really fun to play her. Yeah, there, she's, a, she's a tank character, and so she's going to be there to help sort of moderate the enemy and sort of put them in the right. And she has a little bit of... As, the gravity ball. She's a little. She has a little bit of a control aspect. So mm -hmm. that's something that tanks need. Exactly. Um, so that they can they can define the battlefield for themselves of rather course. than being run around on by tracers all the no. time. <laughs> all the time. Very true. Um, uh, in uh, also Blizzard news, real quick. Um, Hearthstone is doing some cool stuff. If you haven't heard, they have a new expansion called uh, Journey to Ungaro Crater, which is the next 130 odd cards that are coming out. It looks super cool, super super nice. But the other cool thing that they're doing with, uh, real, real soon in April is they're doing this global games tournament. And what's interesting is that 48 different countries are participating, and every country will be able to vote on one of their local country okay. celebrity, Hearthstone celebrities, mm -hmm. to vote for who gets to go to this tournament. And then everyone's going to clash. Okay. It's going to be really, really interesting. I think it's a really cool way of getting community to, to sort of mm -hmm. rally behind local local uh, sports teams, as it were, okay. and then sort of cheer them on into a, a big old tournament that these uh, that these professionals need to sort of keep themselves going. I'm super excited not only for the expansion, but for this tournament, and just mm -hmm. in general about direction that Hearthstone is going. Okay, I mean... Um, sounds like you play a bit. Yeah, just, just a little. Bit. You should, you should, <laughs> you know, step up your game a bit so you can probably go. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I mean no. Battle and Brew, which is a local, uh, local restaurant and bar, mm -hmm. gaming bar, here. Uh, they were just recently, I are about to be featured on Buzzfeed. Um, yeah. Anyway, they do Hearthstone tournaments yes, like every uh, week. I, I'm just really, really busy, and the people that go are really, really good. And more power to them for going and, and doing what they can. But it's a stiff competition, and not just in just a little bit of an aside. Uh, professional professional Hearthstone players are not just people who win tournaments. They've got to be really good streamers, too. And yeah. They've got to make money off that. And then hopefully, maybe they get picked up by a team, and then you have that whole thing that they got to deal with. It's a huge commitment, yeah. it's a giant commitment. Yeah, um, but so, I mean, yeah. It well, is a thing. speaking of competition, right? All right. So, All right. Over into fighting games. There's, okay. of course, King of Fighters 14 announced its first DLC character being Whip. Um, of course, we know King of Fighters is going to be in the e is going to be one of the games at Evo, which is you know the big fighting game tournament that happens during like the summer. Mm -hmm. um, of course. 
This is the first of many characters to come out and many balance changes and whatever that's going to happen in the game. She releases April 5th, but I'm okay, sure... Okay, so Whip, Whip is a girl? Yes, she oh. is a... Yeah, she is a... Female. You didn't explain, you didn't explain Whip a little bit, so okay. I was going to ask... Whip is a really great character. Right. She is a staple from King of Fighters 99. She's been in several okay. games. She's well, she is a military-based character who uses a whip. Okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Yes. Uh, I'm yeah. sensing a thing. Well, see, I don't play King of Fighters, so it's like I want to know cool <laughs> things. Really great character, really great strategy. Although, back in the day, she used to have this really annoying infinite combo where she would just knock you down and you don't get back up, and that's all your life. Oh, that's I mean, there you go. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully they fix that. <laughs> in but, this installment. <laughs> Was it put put her in a public test room for two weeks, two or two or three weeks? Yeah, it is. It really is. Let's see if this. Oh, we really like this idea. Let's test it. Oh, that doesn't work no, at all. No, nope. Because <laughs> players break everything. Of course. Awesome. All right. Well, I think that that's it for this week's video game news. Um, you can always catch me on Twitter at Girl Friday Cause or Instagram at kmcdaniel28. And you can find me at Zonga Audio on Twitter. Uh, on Twitter, I'm at BioImportance. All right, and uh, as always, like, share, and subscribe. If you have any uh, video game news you want us to talk about or just want to say, hey, please send us an email at zeromile at terminusmedia.com. And we will see you next Monday for more video game news. Bye, guys. Uh, so please remember to like, share, and subscribe. This just is Zonga Cooney signing out. <laughs> I feel like I need to say it. Make sure now to like, you need share, to say and, it. Yeah. You need to say it now. <laughs> like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you. Everyone have a good week. Bye, guys. <laughs>